Hey, Cancer Leo! I thought we'd do the Ancestor deck and then clarify with the Marie L. Or Mary L, okay? So cleansing the decks of any and all negative energy. Only give you the purest lattice lot. Let me seal this ribbon. And give me a loss. Seal this ribbon now. And you should his name. And then a man. Uh -huh, and so it is. Therefore, let it be written. Therefore, let it be done. I'm told just to pull up the top, guys. Your person is super jealous. Super jealous. And they're thinking about all the mind games that they played on you. You could be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. This person is so jealous of anyone that comes near you. Even think they are so possessive over you. It's crazy. This person turns black on the inside just thinking about you. Even entertaining a thought of holding another man's hand or woman if you're a guy. Like they are so possessive over you. It would definitely need to be tweaked if there was ever a reunion between the two of you because that's just not healthy. They want to be fair. They're thinking about how they weren't fair in the past. Yeah, like they want to be fair and they want to cuff you. They want to right all their wrongs. They really do. Let's clarify. Clarify these cards for me, please. Y'all like my newest additions, my little eyeball and my pumpkin. I thought they were cute. Me and my son got them at the store the other day. We were looking around. I was like, oh my gosh, those are cool. My son really liked the haunted house one with the bat. Okay. So I'm going to have to cover up the card because there's nudie. And I forgot yesterday when I was doing a reading. Or the other day whenever it was about my, the world card day. It was nudie. So I hope I don't get in trouble for that. But um, So we have knight of swords and page of swords. So this person. <laughs> I'm telling you. They, they cannot handle the idea of you being with anybody else. It, the idea of another man. Coming forward, especially another Taurus, okay? Another sign of who they are, okay? Younger, okay? <laughs> like, coming forward and doing everything that they did not makes this person go ballistic on the inside. They, they cannot, mm-mm. It's a no. And they know you know. High Priestess. They know that you know exactly how they feel. And they know. They're, they know you know. That they're going fucking batshit crazy. Pardon my language guys. Yeah. And they know you're leaving. 
And you ain't looking back. Ain't no holla back, girl. <laughs> I love Squid Zipani. Yeah, they want a reunion. All right, let's get into their hearts. Judgment. Yeah, they may be going through a little bit of karma right now. They may think that this is their karma. Okay. For what they've done to you, they are not sleeping. This is a bed. And just like an echo. You know what I'm saying? Like they're, yeah. All they can think about is you. You could be dealing with a Libra or you could have Libra in your chart. And they want to talk. Okay. The lovers in the chariot. You guys, this came out in the Gemini Cancer reading. Same combo. Different deck. Crazy. Was it in their heart? Or was it in their thoughts? I can't remember. Your person is all over the place. But, yeah. Um, they're literally, instead of trying to control the narrative, instead of trying to control you, they're trying to control their ego. Let go of my ego! Okay? They're finally trying to go with the flow of what God wants them to do and let go of their ego. And it's difficult. But this person is doing it because they're in love with you. Let's get into their actions. The star. Look, there are no other stars in that sky. <laughs> Need I say more? And they're healing. They're healing. They may have been in another relationship or had several friends with benefits or whatever. And they're leaving all of them for you. They want to move on to smooth waters with you. Okay. Chariot again and the Ace of Swords. Wow. This person wants to talk. They are seriously having an epiphany moment. They realize you're not playing this time. You may have in the past said, well, I'm not talking to you no more. I don't want anything to do with this. I'm done. Or you may have been defensive about seeing them again or whatever. And you always ended up coming back together. So this person always thought, well, I'll just wait it out. And eventually she'll get over being mad and, you know, we'll be all right. But they realize you're, you're, not, you're not getting over it. Like, it's been over a year now and you guys haven't spoke. And they're starting to get fucking scared. They're like, oh, shit. Like, she actually fucking is putting her foot down. And then they're like, well, what do I do if I just can't ever talk to her again? And they're going through all this shit. Like, it's all in their head, okay? Can I play these cards? Yeah, they know bossing it up, level up, level up, level up to emperor status is the only way to go. They know it is. Your person has a big old ego, though, baby. Big old ego. And they are really trying to get control over it they really are um there's god coming out again judgment and the nine of pentacles yeah it's like they shoved you away right and said no i don't want to be with anybody i love the single life and now it's like you were like okay bet deuces and it's kind of like wiley coyote you know with the roadrunner the roadrunner's like meh meh and leaves a trail of smoke and while he's sitting there like wait a minute is that what i really wanted <laughs> oh my gosh fool at the bottom of the deck they want a new beginning they know they've been a fool like comment and subscribe your girl be back called willa